Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my soldier brothers and sisters. How is everyone doing today in a galaxy far, far, far away? If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your soldier fun news, guides, and updates right here, right now. My friends, my commando friends, no, not how I'm going currently right now as I record this video. Nope, this is for my commando friends, my pub friends out there. We're going to give you some love. We're going to let you see what some set bonuses and tacticals might be able to do for you when you're out there in the fight getting dirty. So uh, let's take a look. Now remember, the last is going to be very mirrored to, say, the mercenary on this one. But uh, here we go. Let's take a look. Combat, combat medic. Just behind the front line, the combat medic commando uses medical know-how and an array of tools to keep their allies in pristine fighting shape. Damage monitoring equipment and advanced cultural delivery systems allow the combat medic to maintain the offensive offenses forward momentum. Whether, whether it is in the middle of a boss fight or in the heat of PvP match, healers are the lifeline of the groups. As content gets harder, more is expected of the group's healer and set bonuses or tacticals that increase the potency of healing abilities or the number of players they affect will be at the top of the list for many people. Instead, let's take a look at the viability of increased mobility for a healer in upper echelon content. Now, just like they did with the Merc, uh, I can see what they're trying to do here for healers is let them be more mobile instead of just being sitting targets while they're trying to heal all the people. Your set bonus for this is the Tech Medic. And your two pieces of plus two the mastery, your four piece emergency medical pro becomes an instant cast, and your six piece is diversion heals all allies around you, and the tactical they are using is running rapid restoration. Medical probe can be cast while moving and heals an additional 10%. Now they're gonna take they're gonna take the medic, the, the commando, through the dread palace through the first phase of the fight, uh, just to give you an idea of what mobility can do for uh our our medic here so let's let's do this and yeah so we went there so we got all the fight they all do all the things meanwhile raptus has a whirlwind attack capable of causing massive damage to any player caught in it and tyrants periodically pulls a random person to him because he just wants all the hugs all this combined keeps the operation group in a constant state of movement our commando included and look at that raptus just cut down the other healer with a spinning attack ah <sighs> What a what a mean, mean person. Time is of the essence. Revive them before the rest of the group topples over. Fortunately, the combat resurrection ability emergency medical probe is now an instant cast thanks to the tech medic set bonus. Instead of having to stay still and wait for the cast time, our commando can quickly save their fellow healer. With that crisis averted, both healers can go back to focusing on maintaining everyone's health. The group is extra cautious of their placement and maintains constant movement to prevent this from happening again. This is where the running rapid restoration tactical and how it changes the medical probe healing ability comes in handy. With this tactical equipped, not only is the medical probe castable while moving, but it heals for an additional amount. On top of that, our healer has turned an ability that reduces threat into another source of healing. With the four piece tech medic set bonus, diversion becomes a more viable ability by healing everyone in its range by increasing mobility and versatility. Our healer stands a much better chance to react to any situation the Dread Council can muster. And that's really awesome. I like that they're giving them uh, mobility uh, through these fights because sometimes you just have to sit there and take it as a sponge and try to heal everyone else and heal yourself at the, first time, at the same time. And, well, sometimes it just doesn't end well. Now our gunnery commandos out there. The gunnery commando specializes in ranged cannon attacks, employing long-range weapons to demolish anyone unlucky enough to be in their sights. Devastating blaster round combinations and relentless assault cannon volleys generate a spectacle of explosive brilliance and transform the commando into a virtual blaster storm. Now this one, we're going to take it some take a look at what could happen in a PvP match. So sometimes PvP matches come down to the wire, where which team where which team wins is anyone's guess. Other times, one team decimates the other. One of the biggest hurdles teams often face is regaining the momentum of a match. A common tactic used to turn the tide is coming out of the left field with a huge damage output, making the opposition to flinch. While the new set bonus and tactical combinations, gunnery commandos can hit hard before the enemy even sees it coming. Set bonus for this is Notorious. Two-piece is a plus two to power. Four-piece tech override grants precision targeting, increasing armor penetration by 10% for six seconds. This effect cannot occur more than once a minute. 
Six pieces, your tech override gets an additional charge. In the tactical, they're using this one just like they did for the mercenary because it's more of a mirror class. Thermal nuclear fusion. Plasma grenade spreads your grab that yeah. plasma grenade spreads your grab rounds gravity vortex to the target it damages as long as it damages at least one target already affected by a gravity vortex demolition rounds fire additional rounds to nearby targets affected by your gravity vortex so that's pretty awesome that's pretty cool the enemy team has quickly gained the upper hand they're smelling the proverbial blood in the water as they try to finish off one of our commando's teammates Fortunately, they were able to activate their defensive abilities, but that has only bought them a few seconds at best. Time is of the essence. With their teams back against the wall, our gunnery commando starts their counterattack with tech override, making the next ability that normally requires a cast time an instant cast. Gr Grav round is immediately fired at the enemy near the center of the fray, afflicting them with gravity vortex. Without a moment's hesitation, our commando uses their second charge of tech override granted by the notorious set bonus. This makes plasma gra grenade an instant cast, and because of the thermonuclear tactical, the gravity vor vortex text placed by the grab round spreads to all nearby enemies the stage is now set for a huge amount of damage our commando act activates their hardest hitting ability demolition round but with a twist instead of only hitting one target it now hits all the enemies who are afflicted by gravity vortex because of our tactical let's not forget that since this attack was completed within six seconds our set bonus added an additional 10 percent armor penetration to all the damage this flurry of rounds causes a lot more damage than the enemy team even expected. In a matter of seconds, the tables have been turned in favor of our commandos team. Now let's take a look at our assault specialists using the chaos of the battlefield to their advantage. The assault specialist commandos forte. Loaded to the brim with incendiary ordnance and perforating bolts, an assault specialist volley and explosions add to the pandemonium, causing massive damage to their enemies. While the synergy between set bonus and tacticals can change how someone plays, it might not be how some the night bleh, it might not be something everyone is interested in. Here we have a seasoned veteran that mainly plays assault special commando. Commando? Commando. They don't want a new ability rotation or play style. They'd much prefer something that offers a passive change rather than an active one. Fortunately, we have just a thing with this set bonus and tactical. Let's test it out against a flashpoint boss. Set bonus concentrated fire. Your plus two is plus two to critical. Your two, your four piece gaining a stack of supercharge increases your critical chance by 10% for 10 seconds. This effect can only occur once every 10 seconds. Doing damage or healing an ally has a 5% chance to build a supercharge. Can only happen once per three seconds. And the tactical they'll be using in this one is energized charges. The duration of the supercharged cell and supercharged burn are doubled. Our commando starts off business as usual, attacking the boss with a combination of abilities to build supercharged stacks. Normally, when a stack is gained, there is a slight damage increase overall, but thanks to the concentrated fire set bonus, our commando's critical chances also increase by 10%. Once 10 stacks have been reached, the linchpin of our commando's increased damage output, supercharged cell, can be used, increasing the periodic damage of its abilities by 10%. Only a few abilities can normally grant a supercharged stack, but because of the concentrated fire set bonus, there's a 5% chance to build one from any damaged source. With this, it doesn't take long for our seasoned commando to reach your 10th and final stack. Time to bare their teeth with supercharged cell. AS commandos have their abilities that cause periodic damage. Incendiary round, plasma grenade, and serrated bolt. All of these are used back to back, maximizing the periodic damage inflicted on the boss. There's also a hidden fourth source of periodic damage thanks to a nuance of supercharged cell. While it's active, the incendiary round has been used. The next range attack on the target sets off a separated periodic damage burn, and it doesn't stop there. Thanks to our energized charges tactical, this periodic onslaught continues for twice as long with the extended duration of supercharged cell. Once supercharged cell wears off, it won't be long until our commando can use it again, starting this brutal cycle anew. Well, there you have it, my friends. My Republic friends, the commando is there. All your little advanced disciplines outlined there as well. And in this one, they again gave you a snapshot of what a passive 
um, tactical and what it can do with the set bonuses, what it can do for you if you don't want to completely change your play style uh, and learn a whole brand new rotation like uh, some of the other tacticals and set bonuses in Onslaught uh, will uh, make you ultimately do. But yeah, I'll, this again, super OP and that's awesome. I think this is great. This is a great um, additions to a person's gameplay and play style and really um, rewrites a lot of the ways people just do things and again it kind of really makes me wonder what's coming in onslaught to the to the point to where we might need this type of op stuff i'm a little scared how about you my friends leave my commando friends leave your comments in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on all this are these changes that you were really liking this is set this is sound really cool to you i want to know these things also my friends if you really like what you see here my friends make sure you hit that like button really helps the channel out quite a bit because the more likes we get the easier it is for people to find us and the faster we get to the head of the line and if you really really like what you see here make sure you hit the subscribe button for all your SOTOR fun news and updates and stuff like here become part of the family here Boomy Nation the freak show of YouTube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends remember to be kind it's about community and we will see you later good day